TNTM The Show presents... The July Recap with your hosts... Pablo Gunner. Slay J. Marvin Goof. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about Cobra Kai Season, season 6 Part 1. I don't know if you guys watched it, so we'll see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share our content if you don't mind helping us out. Yes, and our grade scale here at TNTM The Show Talk Nerd and Me is must see, must stream. Check it out. Pass. Next, uh, Cobra Kai Season 6 Part 1. Did you guys watch? Not, not yet. Regrettably. Oh my goodness. I got, I got stuff. I, I love this show. It's so good. It's just... It's, I mean, if you watch the other ones, it's, it's just... It's Cobra Kai. But it's just continuing it. And there's some interesting stuff, like... Uh, who's the main, the main bad dude that's Cobra Kai? He goes to, like, uh, another country where he actually learned it. I want to say, like, Korea or Vietnam or something. And he went to, like, his master and was like, Hey, we can com compete in the world tournament. Let your guys compete. And it was, like, the granddaughter's now, like, running it. And so they're teaming up to, like, compete in the world tournament and, um, and, and face off against... Um, the Miyagi Do, which it's like Miyagi mixed with, uh, it's not Cobra Kai because he he made his own spin off that was like Eagle Fang. That's what he calls it. He called it Eagle Fang. Eagle Fang. Eagle yeah, Fang. Okay. So it's like Eagle Fang mixed with Miyagi Do, and they mix their logos and stuff, and it looks really mm. legit and cool. But they kind of clash over that, right? Because this partnership is new of them doing Miyagi Do and and essentially Cobra Kai doing both and so it's it's kind of like a power struggle and thing struggle thing too so it, it, it's really interesting and it's really good and then also the the players because they've combined their dojos now their best have to compete for the biggest spots and you see like how that's affecting the kids like mentally and everything like that and it's interesting and and how it messes things up that were seeming like they were getting healed and then now it's 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 messing things up, but it's it's really good. It's really interesting, and once again, leaves on the cliffhanger because it just goes to, like, that's the setup. Like, that's where they got to is they just have their players set up, and then next is going to be, I think, the fi I think the next is going to be the final. I don't know if it's going to be the final part, but this is the final season where they're going to have the tournament, and I think it's just going to be straight up, you know, just karate. Because they, they find a way to work karate into every episode when, like, they don't really need to. Like they went to a, they went to like these colleges and then ended up at like a frat party and then of course a uh, karate fight had to break out. You know what I mean? Like they, it, it just had to, you know, like stuff like that. But it, it's it's I mean if you've seen it before, if you're into that stuff, it's an absolute must see must stream. If you're not into it, this is not a good place to jump in because you're gonna be like you don't have the build up, you don't have you have to watch everything. And I think it's worth watching everything else, but. And I don't think you need to be a fan of the Karate Kid movies, but it helps a lot, obviously. But they give you so much in the making of the, of the show that you don't have to, right? Like the flashbacks mm -hmm. and stuff, and especially in the early seasons, that you don't really need to watch the other stuff. I didn't rewatch it for mm -hmm. the show, you know? So, yeah. Cool? Good to hear, yeah. Probably going to see a lot of Ninja Turtles stuff. Yeah, Ninja mm -hmm. Turtles merch from us. Yeah, so yeah. keep an eye out for that. And uh, that's it for us.